Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video I'll show you how to solve the problem lead called tree sum closes, so let's get started. So the problem is that they give us an array of integers and then integer target and they ask you to find the three integers in the array such that the sum is closest to the target. So the brute force approach to solve this problem is by using three for loops and iterate throughout the array and each time we sum up the three numbers and we store it inside a variable so we can keep track of the closest sum to the target. But the problem with this solution is that it takes all of n to the power of 3, which is an efficient solution to the problem. So the best way to solve this problem and the best way to reduce or solving a problem that need to sum up something in an array is the two pointers technique. And the idea behind the two pointer technique is to initialize two pointers starting from the two ends of the array and move the two pointers toward each other's based on the current sum. And that's gonna help reduce the runtime. But there is a condition that we need to apply in order to use the two pointers technique is to sort the array. So let's say we have this input list, an integer target equal to one. So the first thing we're going to do is to sort the array. So after sorting, the smallest number are at the left and all the larger number are at the right. So we're gonna loop throughout the array and we're gonna use the index of the for loop as a pointer so that we can have three pointers mean three numbers to sum up them. Then we're gonna initialize two pointers. The left pointer points at the number after the i index of the for loop and the right pointer at the last number in the array. So we're gonna sum up the three numbers. The first sum are equal to minus three. So we check if the sum are equal to the target. If it's true, we return the sum. So here the total are not equal to one. So what we need to do here is to calculate the absolute difference between the current sum and the target. And the absolute value removes the sign of the numbers, means it's gonna give us how far away that number is from the target on the number line. So after we get the result of the difference, we need to store the sum inside the variable so that we can use it in the next iteration. Then we keep moving the pointers. We need to check if the sum is less than the target or bigger. If it's smaller, we move the left by one, otherwise we reduce the right by one. So here the sum is less than the target, so we move the left by one and we calculate the sum of the new numbers at the three pointers. So the sum here are gonna be minus one and that's mean it's not equal to the target. So we need to calculate the absolute difference between the current sum and the target which is 2 and we compare it to the absolute difference between the previous sum and the target if it's smaller this mean we found a three numbers that if we sum up them we get a value close to the target so we change the value of the closest sum to be minus 1 which is the current sum then we repeat the same process by calculating the sum so here the sum will be 2 and we check if the sum is equal to the target if not we calculate the absolute difference between the current sum and the target and we compare it to the absolute difference between the previous sum and the target so here the closest sum gonna be updated to the value 2 and we compare the current sum 2 to the target 1 so here the targets are smaller than the current sum means we need to move the right pointer to the previous number finally we're gonna stop the loop because in the question details they ask us to sum up three numbers so that's why I'm gonna only use a loop that iterate throughout the array starting from the first number and ending at the second to last number Number, so that we can get the three pointers means three numbers. That's it guys. Finally, we return the closest sum, which is two for this input example. So there is a case when we'll have an array that have two numbers that are the same. So to avoid repeating the same combination and having the same result, we can skip the number by adding a line in the code that check if the value at i index of the loop are equal to the previous value at i minus one index. So we just continue and we don't do anything that, and that's gonna make the code more faster. So the time complexity for the solution is O of n to the power of 2 or we can say it's a quadratic time complexity it's because we have two nested loop and th that iterate throughout the array of numbers and the space complexity is O of 1 means a constant space and that's because we are not allocating any additional memory and we are using only variables that's it guys so let's jump at coding the solution so the first thing we're going to do is to initialize a variable called closest sum and set his value to be infinity so 
this variable is going to help us try, keep track of the sum that are close to the target and it's also going to be the output. Then we sort the array by using the sort method which is going to take all fan log n time complexity but in the complexity analysis we're going to drop the less significant term and we're going to keep the most powerful one which is the quadratic time. Then we loop throughout the array starting from the first number to the second last number and at each iteration we set a condition to avoid repeating the same total of our combination so if i is bigger than zero means it's not out of the array and the value at i is equal to the value at i minus one we just continue to the next iteration then we initialize two pointers the left start at the number after the i index of the for loop and the right start at the last number in the array then we loop throughout the array another time by using the left and right pointer while the left are not equal or bigger than the right pointer we sum up the three numbers at the current pointers and we check if the sum is equal to the target if it's true we return the sum Otherwise, we calculate the absolute difference between the sum and the target, and we compare it to the absolute difference between the closest sum and the target. If it's smaller, we change the closest sum to be the current sum, and we set another condition if the sum is less than the target we move the left by one position otherwise we reduce the right pointer by one and finally the end inner loop ends and we return the closest sum as a result that's it guys thanks for watching see you in the next video